Grandpa Nuvi reporting for duty with another bare bones test flight. This time we're going to fly the M13B and we've already looked at it a few months ago and I kind of made the claim that this may be the best assault rifle in the game. Some of you agreed, some of you didn't. Let's see what it looks like with factory settings. First the damage. Headshot 45 to the gourd. That's a pretty good knock. It's going to make you see little blue birds tweeting around your head. Upper and lower torso, okay. Little lower damage at 33. And if you get down to the upper legs, you're in trouble. The range is a solid 33 and a half meters with a minimum damage range almost 50 meters. As far as hip fire, it's okay. The recoil, though, is decent as far as the gun kick at not almost 20 degrees per second. Horizontal recoil is almost non-existent at 6.26 degrees per second. It's the vertical recoil that has the high amplitude, at least the number says that, at 43.82 degrees per second. As far as mobility, pretty average. 4.8 meters per second. The sprint speed at 5 and a half meters per second. Tack sprint speed on the quick side at 7 meters per second. ADS movement speed, okay at 2.9 meters per second. We can work with that. ADS speed though, a bit slow at 230 milliseconds. Reload quickness is fine. Sprint to fire speed on the medium to quicker side at 210 milliseconds. Speaking of recoil, let's have a look at it in the shooting range. First, this is going to be a hip fire. I won't try to control it. It's going straight up and slightly to the left. Let's do look at that one more time. Straight up, bounce it a little bit slightly to the left. Now, let's aim down sight, no control. Looks like it went absolutely straight up. The recoil looks different. It went straight up. Maybe a little bit to the left, but not as... Look how much that goes to the left. So we're about, let's just say we're a couple of feet to the left of the dummy head. And I'm not talking about mine. All right, now let's aim down sight. Yeah, we're just about over the, we're over the dummy shoulder. So, hey, listen, we've seen different recoil patterns based on aim down sight and hip fire. If somebody knows the reason for that, and we had an Activision dev play with us last night on the live stream, maybe I'll ask him that question if he comes back again on Thursday. So let's take the uh, M13B bare bones factory setting, the way it comes to you, out of the box, onto the field of honor, see how it did for grandpa. See what it did for grandpa's friendly enemies. Let's go. So let's get after it. I usually don't like Afghan as a map because I just don't like it. People stand in the back and snipe. They camp everywhere. We have Muppets galore. One thing that I want to make sure I mention is that the rate of fire is 845 rounds per minute. So this assault rifle is putting out Wow, let's take a look at this guy gacking Grandpa. Oh, that was a nice knife. It's putting out bullets at an SMG rate, and in fact, a fast SMG rate. So it's got the 30 plus meters of range, and yet it's putting out SMG like speed. So that makes this a very powerful. There's the guy again. Did he have two car 98s? I don't know. There's Cheech Marin. He's Elvis. So we're walking around the desert here, and Grandpa's been to the desert. There's a reason they call it a desert, I guess. That would make sense, right? Wow. Car I got carded again. Grandpa's too old to be carded. Car 98-ed. Wow. There's a Muppet with a Moors. A Moors Muppet. We're going to go back and gack that person. I mean, I'm going to make every effort I can. There's another camper down there with a sniper rifle. But Grandpa doesn't like to be gacked by Muppets. So there's the rock pile, the Muppets rock pile. We're going to go back and just hammer them to cream for pitching a tent on grandpa's map 
Grandpa's built up a pretty good deficit there. He's six gacks behind. Oh. Is he going back to Muppet Hood there? So the weapon does put out rounds at an amazing rate. If you can get them high, you're going to gack the person. You can see that the hip fire is not bad on this weapon. It's not bad on really anything below a marksman rifle. You're, you're going to get a good hip fire. Ah, there he is again. That was the Moors guy, and he's just ads Boom. So Grandpa's only four behind now, but he's in fifth place. There goes Elvis. Snoop. Dog Elvis. So make sure nobody's in the Muppet pile. Somebody steps on a proximity mine. Oh, look at that. I just sensed a Muppet nearby. I tell you, this is like Nickelodeon. There goes Snoop, and the headshot takes him out. And Grandpa's tied now. That guy's going back to his rock pile. I think he... Yep, the same guy with the Moors. Man, it's it's hard to test fly a weapon under such stressful conditions. So many Muppets, so many Wombats. Oh, that guy got sniped. Somebody's sniffing his feet, walking around the corner in the desert. Yeah, the desert's not a fun place to be. It just isn't. Especially the Arabian Desert. I've been in a few sandstorms. You can't see your hand in front of your face. All right, Grandpa's gone from a deficit to a lead, and he gets gacked. Buys the farm, only he doesn't want any farmland here. I don't think he'd grow anything but weeds. There we go. You can see I try to move up towards the head. I got the canary man, the yellow canary man. There, somebody else has gacked him. There's canary man. And we want to maintain at least a three gack lead. I didn't see anybody camping over there. This weapon has a lot of visibility with the iron sight. I'm not, not going to add an iron sight to it. I'm beginning to think that the 30 rounds is enough. Because changing out the magazine is a quick operation. I'm wondering if this weapon needs any attachments at all. I mean, it's a, it's got AR distance, SMG speed, and it packs a punch to the head. See, Grandpa got another headshot. Absolutely no recoil that I can detect or that I can't control. Up and slightly to the left from the hip, there's Canary Man with a sniper. His car. He tried to car daddy. Granddaddy. All right. Grandpa's going to take a quick blow, get a situational awareness up. Sometimes proximity mines count as early warning devices, and he needs to get up or they're gonna, he's going to get gacked by Canary Man. Still not going to pay for the farm, though. That's not happening. There's some, something's going on over there. Looks like they called in an airstrike. It's maintaining that four gag lead. Less than a minute remaining. Another airstrike. So this weapon is absolutely performing. Oh, who gacked him? Cheech Marin. I always thought Cheech was a friendly guy. He's over here trying to gat Grandpa. Just need one more. And we're not going to get it. Not quite a Snickers win, but it's a win nonetheless. Grandpa puts on his headset and listens to some insults. Doesn't respond. El Tata B. 2.7 KD, but I, I think he was one of the campers. All right, this is going to be a more in-your-face map. We're checking into the hotel. It looks like the hotel should be under repair, and Grandpa does his typical die right away in free-for-all. There we go. Good ADS movement speed, strafe speed there. Holding my dot right about the center. I hold it higher for snipers. 
nobody at the check-in desk, so I can't get an extra room key. And I was shooting a dot, and he was shooting a dot, and his, his dot was me, and it worked for him. Let's see if we can get a 30 GAC. Hopefully, Grandpa, who's fallen behind again in the hotel, looking for the ice machine. Grandma always sends Grandpa out for ice. Grandma Newbie is an ice fiend. Ice, ice baby, she says. And I say, too hot, too hot. But that's a little too much information. Oh, there's a potential victim. Didn't get him in the head, upper torso. The, the, I feel like I'm carrying a fast SMG. I really do. This has got to be a prohibited weapon. And the CDL, though, the CDL is over now. Optic Texas, five to one winners, maps against the New York subliners. Watched the whole tournament and every one of the matches. That's how I know how people show up. Well, what was that? He, he just shows up, doesn't say hi, shoots me. Must be a hotel worker, stepped in paint. He deserves to be gacked. Whoa. Grandpa didn't deserve to buy the farm, though. I think the real estate here is a little nicer. Maybe a farm would be in order of that. We gacked El Elvis as Night Cream Face. Needs to wipe that off. He could probably see better, but I'm sure he's working on his complexion. Probably needs to, based on what I see of his face. There's Cheech. And we're five behind, at more than halfway through the game. Where is he? There he is. Ha! Got old night cream face. He'll have to reapply all that stuff. He won't be back in the fight for a while because he's be standing in front of the mirror wiping his face with, with that white grease. And there he is again. Two gacks in a row. Reeling them in like a like a fish. Three in a row. Whoa. What's going on there? All right, a mosquito. Got to go outside. You can also, I think, uh, deploy those in the middle of the hotel. Whoa, night cream face. He's no longer Elvis. I'd like to get rid of that thing, but... Where'd this guy go? Where'd he go? He's, he, yeah, that's where he went. So, Grandpa, the farm. We're within one now. So that's how fast Free For All can change. I was, I think, four or five behind. And first place at 16. I'm now tied at 17 after a bloodthirsty and another gag. There comes the victim. Got two shots in the head. That helps. See if I can help him man the desk. Good check in fighters from all over the world. Well, guess not. Don't try this when you check into a nice hotel. They'll, they'll frown upon it. There's Cheech again. No longer Elvis. I think Grandpa's Elvis. There's Night Cream Face. No longer Elvis. You can see Grandpa is sweating. There's Cheech. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, Night Cream Face got him. Yeah, the I don't think I'm even going to add extra bullets, which goes counter what Grandpa normally says, even for free-for-all. Because 30 rounds seems to be enough because it packs a punch. And I can come off the trigger after about 10 rounds, so I got three in it. There's Night Cream Face. I'm going to run out of time here again, I fear. Got a minute and need six gags. Oh, he's dead. 
probably can't see with all those things over his eyes. Oh. oh, we got a white furry triple. 30 seconds. Oh, oh, I needed that one. I needed that one. Four kills with less than 30 seconds. Oh, she's just sitting over there. Just copping a squat. Uh, I don't even think he's checked into the hotel yet. Security. Will, maybe we should call security on him. Oh, there he is again. Oh, somebody got him. Ten seconds, three kills. I don't, I don't see that happening. But I don't see anybody catching Grandpa either. Oh, there we go. Mm. 28. Okay. Not a Snickers victory, but a hoo nonetheless. So what do we need? I think we need to improve mobility a little bit. That'd be nice. ADS speed, ADS movement speed, the strafe speed, and sprint to fire. I'm willing to sacrifice recoil. I'm willing to pile it on just to help out in those areas. Otherwise, don't touch the weapon. It's good enough as is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a bonus game here. We're going to fight from the guts of an alien. This thing's disgusting. I'm sure it stinks. I don't have a gas mask. And I'm going to do very little editing because this map is a charnel house and free-for-all. What is that? Ha! I got two... Got two knifers. Tell you, knifers, they're my bane. Got a knifer and someone else. I want you to see basically how I play the free for all on this little map, how I die, and why I put down. What is that? It's hip firing me. Why I put down proximity mines because I often get revenges. There's one, two, and ran out of ammunition and getting a knife in the eardrum i think there was a person back there always someone some muppet in the back my wombat knifer oh. got him see what i mean revenge best served hot apologies to shakespeare look at that guy how does he move so fast when he's taking fire. I don't know. That's for bigger minds than grandpa's. Got a knifer. Got somebody who's aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed is not as fast as even this slow one. And this guy, oh, somebody got me from behind. I know two knifers going at each other with grandpa, the peanut butter in the middle. They turn me into jelly, actually. There we go. I love gacking knifers. Knifing is so overpowered in this game. Because of the speeds, because of the 150 health. I'd, I'd prefer 100 health in the game. Maintaining a lead. Somebody in the back, he's not going to be able to get to Grandpa. It's a fast weapon, throwing out the bullets. Grandpa's imitating a Muppet there as he heals. And there's a pro wrestler, somebody with a knife. There's, there's just too much going on. Oh, and I get hammered, literally. And not in a good way. So you're seeing the sausage making here, and you certainly, oh gosh, oh, oh, oh the Renetti got him, the knifer, he deserved it, quad feed, strafe speed, mosquito, go, go get him, my child. One thing about keeping your dot in the middle is that at further distance, it's going to seem like it's low, because it is. So like I said, I'm not editing this very much. I'm showing you all the sausage making and free for all. And I'm telling you, you would not want to use these alien entrails as your sausage casing because I'm sure it would taste a bit rank. Always oh, somebody capping back there. And there's a Muppet laying down. All right, there are three people back here. I need to at least 
least one of them. Leave a doormat present, a welcome mat for the others. He's wounded, so he's an easy kill. It's a Snickers win, so satisfying. Hoo So please like and subscribe. Tell me your free-for-all stories and strategies in the comments. The like, the subscribe helps me, helps the family. I've been monetized. Thank everybody for that. But, I mean, like I think I got a dollar payment coming to me. Have a good week. Cheers and peace to you.